Hello everyone, as some of you already know I've already uploaded one video where I explain how to get ROM Total War version 1.5. On the suggestion I will add also this video if you want to just get the 1.5 from the ground um, and you can just follow the steps on the video I've already added the proper up the relevant files and everything and I also explain what kind of steps you have to take in order to get the game also I, they explained the how to get this game work on game ranger but I figured out for some people this might be a little bit complicated so later I found that there is an easy way how to work how to make ROM Total War work on uh, game ranger just by simply following uh, basic steps and using the Steam version of the ROM Total War. Also, first, we need to have the Game Ranger account. Getting a Game Ranger account is as easy as getting an account on any social media. After that, we have to have the folder, and I'm going to just show you how to set this folder up. First, I assume. Uh, all of you got already steam version of the game what we are going to do we open the library we select the rom total war right click on it go to properties and then click on local files and browse local files it basically takes us to the folder of the rom total war you see so we click on common and we have the rom total war here we are copying this folder and we, let's go to program files so I think we can add this we, we can paste this folder to anywhere and it will still work but just as an example let's go to program files and let's paste it there so it might take a little bit of a time and I will pause the video here and when the process is done I will explain it further So now, oops, now we have uh, copied the file, so it's here. If you go in, you will see the same things that exist on the Steam ROM Total War folder. But there are things that we do not want. You might not have some of these, but these ROM Total War, EXE, Steam AAP and stuff, you do not need them. So we simply delete them. And then what we will do, I will provide you with the link. Uh, the link is from my Google Drive and you will have this folder. Maybe this folder already the, the, you will be dropped inside of the folder. What you will do, you will just download it. So I already downloaded it. You will see it here. So what we do we copy it we go to this folder that we copied into the program files we paste it so basically this exe file is the exe file of rom total war version 1.5 so we are good to go all we need to do is to attach this folder to game ranger so uh, what we do you might already have the game ranger account if you don't have you just need to go ahead and download and install game ranger application and then open up your account so you'll have something like this so you host if you don't have the game already selected rom total war you will select it let's say you name it you put the password like on steam you start to host so you already hosted the game and then you will, Martin, hmm? you you will have Wir brauchen echt diesen Kredit. Immer so ein Stress mit der Bank. So viel Stress muss so anyway, sorry for that. Um, so after you host, there the one thing you have to do is to give the path of the ROM Total War folder that we created to Game Ranger. For that, you go to room. You go click on options you select the rom total war from all the uh, 
list of the games after you select you click browse then what do you do you go to program files and you find that folder it was round total world gold and then you click on exe and click on open so it will show you 1.5 version that's it you do it once and then you're good to go you can uh, start your game so we basically don't have a player to try it out but ooh, we we shouldn't be experiencing any problem from now on uh, just to give an overview again we copied the rom total war folder of the steam version we delete some files that we do not need like the Barbarian Invasion EXE or the EXE file of from Total War of the Steam version and stuff like this. We put the 1.5 version EXE into that folder. We open Game Ranger, give the path to that folder, and that's it. We're good to go. We do not have to follow other steps that were explained on uh, my previous YouTube video. I hope you guys found it, in, in, I mean, helpful. And I hope I will see more of you on Game Ranger very soon. Take care, bye.